need to know if you can see me and hear me. Can you see me and hear me? Okay, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's me. It's Mark. And I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yay. Before I do anything else, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is okay. So I need a Y-E-S, all right? So that means if you can see me and hear me. Okay, Lolly, I see three yeses. Yes, 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 from Lolly. <clears throat> Fran, hello. Okay, good, 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 good. Hello, Senator. Okay, good. Alice is here. Our green team, Devender. Hello, Fran. Tomas is here. Who else is here? From the, Rita's here. Okay, good to see Rita, of course. Mwah, Rita, Rita. Okay, good, good, good. All right, well, we have Alice is here. Our usual suspects, yes, Radu, Canis, Fantastic Lion, Helga. Okay, great, great, great. All right, Radu. Okay, good to see you all. All right, well, um, it's very cold here today. <laughs> Hello, Vera. <clears throat> so I'm trying to warm. My hands are like frozen stiff. My hands are numb. I can't feel them. Super, super cold. So anyways, um, I should hopefully warm up. <laughs> I hope so, right? Okay, um, before we do anything else, we always have a toast for good luck. Yes, so let's have our toast. Yes? All right, so please get your beverage and pick it up. I have hot coffee, I'm trying to get my fingers warm. Yeah, okay, so let's have a toast. Yes, let's have a toast to the green team. Yes, the supporters, they make it happen. They support me, they support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So. They need a big thank you. Yes, green team, thank you. Cheers. Yes, cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump, bump, cheers, bump, cheers. Okay, great. Monk. Hi, monk. Okay. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Cheers. Mm. Dr. Ramirez. Cheers, Dr. Ramirez. Yes, yes. All right, now for our second toast. It's for you. You are here. And like I always say, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So thank you very much. Let's toast to you. Let's toast a fun, interesting, productive, and wonderful lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. Marion, hello. Okay, and because we had a toast, let's have a drink. Mm. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. All right, all right, all right. Well. Now, let's talk about today's lesson plan, all right? So it's I have it written down right here on this piece of paper. And so today we are going to do um, what is it? I have four cards right here. Um, you will not see the word. I will show you the card, and you will see a picture, and you tell me what it is. What is it? We'll do that. We're going to do which is better. I'm going to show you two things and you're going to give me your opinion about which is better and why. Of course, why, why, why? That is your opinion. What, why do you think that? So which is very important. Then we will do which one doesn't belong. There are four, I will give you four items and you choose one of those that doesn't belong with the other three. All right. Three go together, one doesn't. So you tell me which one doesn't, and of course, tell me why. Then we will do dictation cards. We always do dictation cards. And then we will do Lolly's Revenge. So many things to do today. Yes, we are busy, busy today. So let's get right to it, shall we? Yeah, good idea, yeah. So it's time to do. What is it, what is it? And Remember, what is it is for one thing, right? If there's more than one, plural, we say, what are they? So I'm looking at the cards here, 
and they are all one thing. So the sentence is, what is it? Okay, what is it? What is it? Okay, that's our question. And of course, our answer is, it's a, uh, it's a. Uh. So that's our answer, it's a, uh. okay? And then we have four cards, so one, two, three, and four. Okay, we got <coughs> four places because there are four cards. Yes, and I need four magnets, so I'm going to grab four magnets from here. I've got four right here. One, got a green one, got a blue one, got a purple one, and got a red one. Wow, very colorful, just like the rainbow. <laughs> red, purple, blue, and green. Yeah, those are good colors. Okay, here we go. There are four things. What is it? What is it? What is it? All right, so you tell me in the chat what it is. So you, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I always, at the beginning, in the morning, I have a little cough, okay? Sorry about that. All right, so in the chat, you're going to say, it's a, uh, okay? So in the chat, you will say, it's a. Uh. So here we go. What? I'm going to bring the card down, okay? I'm going to bring it down slowly, slowly, slowly. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? It's coming down. There we go. What is it? What is it? <laughs> Do you know what it is? What is it? What is it? So in the chat, please tell me what it is. It's a. <clears throat> Here we go. One more time. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? No, I don't smoke. Nope. Never smoked. No, it's not beer. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Beer. Oh, bear. <laughs> okay, lolly, beer. You. Um, Helga, bear. No, it's not a bear. What is it? What? Oh, radu. Radu. Okay, <laughs> lolly. Yeah, bear. No. It's not a bear. What is it? What is it? Dr. Ramirez. Yeah. Okay. Good. Radu. Good. It's an animal. Yes. What kind of animal? <laughs> yes. It's an animal. That's true. That is true. Uh, Jamel. That's true. It's not a bear. It's not a panda. No, Devender. Not a panda. Pierre. Hello. Not a panda, Zir. Tomas, not a panda, no. Ken is not a bear, no. Hey, Ava, how you doing, Ava? Mwah. Marion, you got it, good. Devender, not a panda, no. I know, I don't like honey. I'll be okay, I'll be okay. Just, <clears throat> when I, I, maybe it's because I'm a little, um, like a little, because I'm doing a live stream, so I get a little excited, I get a little nervous, so I think COVID, I don't think it's COVID, no, I don't think so, because it's always like this, <laughs> I'm always like this, I don't think it's COVID, no. Okay, yeah, no, it's not Panda, okay, I'm telling you the answer, Susan, you got it, yes, it's a raccoon. It's a raccoon. Okay, that was number one. It's a raccoon. Yes. <clears throat> it's a raccoon. Very good. Very good. Very good. Raccoon. Okay, here we go. Card number two. What is it? What is it? What is it? Okay, here we go. What is it? This might be a little difficult. I'm not sure if this is going to be difficult or not. Okay, Radu, yes. <laughs> what, you've seen it before? <laughs> yes, you're, you are, Radu, you are correct. Okay, it's H&M sweater, yes. <laughs> okay, here's 
Card number two, everyone. Card number two. I'm bringing it down slowly. It's not a skunk. It's a raccoon. Okay, what is this? Card number two. What is this? What is this? What is this? Okay, two. Yeah, two. Elvis, hello. Okay, what is it? 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 <laughs> oh, Radu, you, you have the same sweater? <laughs> I, I like it. It's a good sweater, right? It's a nice winter sweater, right? Looks looks winterish, like almost like a ski sweater, right? Kind of looks like a ski sweater. Thank you, Ava. I like it. Oh, Helga, that's fat. Okay, you... No, Radu. No, Lolly. Yeah, Erline. Good. Devender, no. Uh, Husan, yes. No, Fran. Yes, Vera. Yes, Vilmar. No, Rita. <laughs> Husan, yes. Uh, Jamal, no. Hannah, yes. Ken is yes. Dr. Maris, no. Oh, Alice, neck pillow. That's interesting, right? Many people, when they use neck pillows when they go in a, flying on an airplane, right? You see people in the airport with a neck pillow. I've never used one before. I use just the normal pillow that the airline gives you. No, Monk. Okay, yeah, Susan, you got it. <laughs> Radu, I wish we, we have matching sweaters. Radu and I have matching sweaters. Okay. It's a it's a magnet. It's a magnet. Yep. Most of you got it. Good job. It's a magnet. Yes, it is a magnet. Okay, good, good, good. It's a magnet. Now, card number three. I'm still cold. It's cold in here, everyone. It's cold. It's really cold today here in Japan. Actually, we got snow yesterday in Japan. And the snow was super light. So that means it was super cold. Usually, when we get snow in my city, it's usually like wet snow. Or, you know, because it's, it's, not, it's cold, of course. You need cold weather for snow. But it's not super cold, right? But today, the snow was super light. Like, um... It's great for skiing, right? Like um, powder, right? So we call it like powder snow. And that's how the snow is today. It's like powder. So it's like really cold today. Okay, here we go. Card number three. Card number three. What is it? What is it? What is it? I'm bringing down the card. Okay, here we go. What is it? What is it? What is it? Card number three. What is it? I know, I need a campfire. I wish I had a fire burning right here. That would be warm. <laughs> yes, Tomas, I, I need a campfire. Ah, I'm drinking hot coffee, but the coffee's getting colder. <laughs> it was hot, but now it's not so hot anymore because it's so cold in here. Dr. Amaris, okay, that is pretty easy. Senator, yes. Oh, Ava, in the Czech, it's, it's snowing in the Czech Republic, too. Yeah, okay, this was easy. Yeah, everyone, you got it. Not a peacock, Lolly. It's a turkey. Yep, okay, you guys, you guys got it. This was easy. It's a turkey, yes, a turkey. Good job. Turkey goes, come on, 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 come on. That was my turkey impression. <laughs> okay, here we go. Card number four. This is our last card. What is it? Here we go. Card number four. I'm bringing it down. This might be a little difficult. This could be difficult. Devender, it's a turkey. Okay. Hot vine. No, I don't, Tomas. I know 
I know red vine licorice. I don't know hot vine. No. Okay, what is it? Bringing it down, bringing it down. What is it? What is it? This might be a little difficult. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, lolly. That was fast. No, Helga. Jamel, yeah. Okay, you guys. Okay, yeah, Dr. Maris. No, Devender. No. What is it? No, Gaga. Uh, Umesh, no. Monk, no. No friend. Oh, oh, it's a drink, Tomas. I don't know that drink. No, Vera. KVP, yes. Ava, yes. Friend, no. Ken is yes. Umesh, no. Isabel, no. Okay, yeah, is that we could say iron. Yeah, we can say that. Yeah, Radu, no Tomas. Okay, I'm bringing it down, all the way down. It's a weight. Yep, it's a weight. Okay, good job. Most of you got it, good. It, it looks like a handbag. It can be a handbag, but um, usually the handbag doesn't have a round handle like that. So, but it's, it's a weight. It's a weight. It's not a lock. It kind of, yeah, it kind of looks like a lock, huh? It can open and close. Yeah, but no, it's a weight. Yeah, Alice, good. Okay, it's a weight. Yes. Okay, that was what is a game, all right? So let's review. <clears throat> let's review, shall we? Okay, number one, what is it? It's a raccoon, okay? One more time, what is it? It's a raccoon. Number two, what is it? It's a magnet. Number two, what is it? It's a magnet. Number three, what is it? It's a turkey. What is it? It's a turkey. <clears throat> what is it? It's a weight. Good. What is it? Yes, it's a weight. Okay, let's do it one more time. So I want you to say this. This is speaking practice. Okay, here we go. What is it? Good, it's a raccoon. Number two, what is it? Yes, it's a magnet. <coughs> Number three, what is it? Yes, it's a turkey. Number four, what is it? Yes, it's a weight. Okay, good, good, good. All right, that was what is it. Now, I'm going to take a picture, right? I always take a picture when we do an activity. And when we finish the activity, I take a picture. Yes, I do. And then I will upload it to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, so you can have a look at it anytime you want to. You can check it out anytime you want. Okay. There's the camera. I'm going to step over here. You can't see me, but you can hear me. And I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard. Here we go. Countdown. Four, three, two, one. Okay, good picture. Yes, I got it. I got the picture. And then when we finish today, I will upload it to my Facebook group page. Yes, Gaga, a raccoon, a magnet, a turkey, and a weight. Very good. Turkey leg, yes. I like all of turkey. I like all the... I like the turkey breast. I like the turkey leg. I like the turkey. I like turkey meat. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. All right, now our next activity is, our next one is, which is better and why? Okay, which one is better? Let me take these off. Let me take these off the board. Oh, this my hands are so cold it's going to be hard. I have no no feeling. 
no grip because my hands are so cold. So I can't, ah, uh, it's hard for me to get it. Okay, I got them. They're off. I'm going to erase the board. And our next activity is, which is better? So I'm going to show you a card with two things, and you tell me which one is better and why. Okay? That's the most important thing. Why? That's to give your opinion, right? Yeah, which is better? Okay. And then you can tell me why, of course. Okay, here we go. Number one, which is better and why? Okay. Here we go. Card number one. Which is better? Oh, I love tomato soup, Devinder. I love tomato soup. Okay. Which is better? Bowling or baseball? Bowling or baseball? Which is better? <laughs> Thank you, Radu. Which is better, bowling or baseball? And why? Which is better, bowling or baseball? Which is better, bowling or baseball? I have a heater, but it, it, it's, it, 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 it takes time. <laughs> it takes time for the room to get warm and the, the heat just goes out the door. <laughs> <laughs> out the window so th this this place this my office the insulation is not very good so the heat i have a heater but it just goes out okay which is better lolly says bowling is better because i don't have to run oh <laughs> that's right lolly lolly doesn't like sports i remember now lolly doesn't like sports. All right, so which is better, bowling or baseball? Bowling or baseball? And Lolly says bowling because you don't have to run. <laughs> right? You just bowling, you just walk, right? And throw. Just walk and throw the ball. Baseball, you have to hit, you have to run, catch, hit, and run. Okay, Helga says bowling is better because it is a game for everybody. Ah, that's right. Anybody can, even kids, even, you know, little kids, old people, everyone can bowl. Yeah, nice answer, Helga. Uh, okay, um, Erline likes bowling because um, Erline likes it better. Monk says bowling is better because I like it. Tomas says bowling is better for me because I don't need to run. Wow, everyone likes bowl. Oh, Lion, I like baseball because I can, I can play with my husband. Okay, Lion, Lion plays, or yeah, Lion plays baseball. Nice. Ava, what? Oh, because. Bowling is better because I don't play. Okay, this is baseball. Baseball, Ava. Not basketball. Basketball is a big ball, and you shoot it into a basket. Baseball, it's a small ball, and you have a bat, and you hit the ball with the bat. So if someone throws the ball, and then you have to hit the ball with a bat. That is baseball. Oh, good. This is a good one. Tomas says baseball is complicated. Yeah, many rules, right? And where bowling is very, it's not complicated, right? You just um, roll over the pins, right? Knock down the pins. That's the game. But, bowl, uh, but baseball has many rules. That's right. It's very complicated. Hannah, I like baseball because I like watching the baseball match 
at home eating some potato chips on the sofa. <laughs> yeah, so maybe watching baseball is, is better than watching bowling, right? Watching bowling can be a little boring, right? Okay, good. Oh, Lolly, another one. Lolly says, bowling because it's done inside. So Lolly likes indoor activities. Vilmar says, baseball is more attractive to see. Yeah, so I, I think so too, Vilmar. Um, Pierre says, I think um, bowling is better because you can play inside, yeah, especially like winter, right, when it's cold outside. But inside, in the bowling alley, it's warm. So, yeah, that's a good point. Ava says, yes, I understand. I don't play baseball too. Okay, Ava, good. Um, Fran, I prefer bowling because it is a good game of skill. Yeah, I like, I like bowling. I like, to, I like to go bowling for sure. Dr. Amer says the most popular baseball player are, come from the, yeah, Dominican Republic has many, um, Sammy Sosa, right? Dominican Republic. So many, many players or many of the top players are from the Dominican Republic. I like Sammy Sosa. Yeah. <laughs> you know Sammy Sosa, right, Dr. Maris? He, he's retired now, but um, he was a great player. Sammy Sosa. Um, Ken is, bowling is better because I like play with friends. Yeah, yeah, so Ken is good. So bowling is, is nice to play with friends because you can talk, right? Because only one person is, is doing it, right? And so you can, everyone's watching the one bowler, right? And so you can talk, you can um, eat and drink at the same time. Yeah, Tomas, that's what I just said. Meanwhile, you play bowling, or you can um, bowl and drink beer too. That's right. So um, bowling is very social, I think, right? Because um, you can talk with your friends, you could have beer, you could have a hot dog, a hamburger, and talk with your friends and have a good time at the same time as bowling, as you bowl, right? So you can talk and eat and drink while you are bowling. Okay, good one, good one. Okay, let's do, let's do another one. Let's do another one. Okay, this is two, two, two. Okay. All right, here we go. Which is better? Which is better? Oh, Lion says bowling is better because it can reduce stress. I think so. I think so. KVP, bowling because I used to play with my husband. Okay, good KVP. Used to, not anymore. Did you stop KVP? Okay, Henna says, um, if I could play some sports, I'd like to um, bowl because it's, it doesn't matter. The, we the weather doesn't matter. That's right, Henna. If I could play some sports, I'd like to bowl because the weather doesn't matter. The weather doesn't matter. The weather doesn't matter. Okay, good. Here we go. Card number two. Which is better, a river or a beach? Which is better, a river or a beach? Which is better? A river or a beach? So in the chat, please write your answers. Which is better? A river or a beach? A river or a beach? Which is better? A river or a beach? Super Bowls, football, Julia. That's coming. I like football very much. I love watching base football. I like football. Oh, Jamal likes baseball because it's healthier. Yeah, so for baseball, it takes more um, energy, right? More, more activity. Bowling doesn't take much um, doesn't you don't use much um muscle you don't 
what what are, I want to say like it, there's less involved in bowling right baseball you're using more muscle you're using more energy okay Helga a beach is better because wait I just missed okay okay Helga I see you now okay a beach is better because I live at the sea oh Helga you're lucky you're lucky Okay, Elizabeth, why beach? Why? Umesh says, a uh, beach because we can enjoy s a sunset. Yes, or enjoy the sunset. Enjoy the sunset. Ava, river because it's next to my house. Okay, so Ava has a river next. Actually, I heard um, the Czech has many rivers, right? There are many rivers um, go through the Czech Republic. Yeah. Lion. Beach is better because I can swim and enjoy my time. Uh, er Erline says the beach is better because sometimes the river it has cold water. Yeah, because it's coming from the mountains, right? So the river comes from the mountain, the snow, right? Comes out of the mountain, so the water is usually cold, yeah. Lolly says, a beach because it's easy to sunbathe. Yes, the nice sand, right? It's very relaxing to sunbathe on the sand. Yeah. Smith says, a river because we use many things. Yeah, so um, you can use a jet ski. You can use inner tubes. Yeah. Demander, beach because we can enjoy with friends. Yes, we enjoy the beach with our friends. Fran says, I prefer the beach because you can make, you could, oh, you can play a lot of sports on the beach. Yeah, you can play volleyball on the beach. You can, um, what else is, uh, uh, like paddle tennis on the beach, play frisbee on the beach. You can throw a ball on the beach. Yeah, Fran. Tomas says, a beach is better. I am not brave enough to swim in the river. Yeah, the river is very, People drown in the river every year here in Japan. We have many rivers in Japan, and some rivers go very quick, right? The water moves very fast, and some people um, drown because they're, they fall, maybe, you know, they can't swim very well, and so the, the water takes them down the river, and there are many rocks, and so maybe they'll hit their head on a rock. So here in Japan, actually, the past summer, I was at the river, and there was a helicopter flying, like a, a search and rescue helicopter looking for uh, somebody, and the next day in the newspaper, it was a university student who, who died, so it's very sad. So here in Japan, um, a few people every year die in the river. Yeah, okay, Ava likes, likes the beach because it's very comfortable. Yeah, very good. Oh, um, Aurora says, I love the beach uh, just for a walk and the sunset. Yeah, that's, I love that too. I'm from the beach, and um, I love walking on the beach and checking out the sunsets. Yeah, very nice. Okay, Lolly has a good point here. A river because it's less crowded. Very good point, Lolly. Usually there are more people at the beach than at the river. I agree, Lolly. I agree. Yeah, hot sand. Gaga likes the hot sand. Yeah, right now I want hot sand. <laughs> I want the beach, right? I want, I want summer to be here right now. <laughs> Uh, a beach is better, Henna says, a beach is better because we can swim under the sea and see some fish. Yes, some beautiful fish, right? It depends what kind of beach, right? Tropical beach. Maybe Dr. Ameris has some tropical beaches where she lives. Uh, Dr. Ameris says, beach is better because we can go snorkeling easily. Yeah, I like snorkeling for sure. Okay, good. Kenna says beach is better because for swimming. Yep. Radu, beach because um, you have more water to swim in, although higher risk of encountering a shark. Oh, 
Watch out for sharks, everyone. Watch out for sharks. Oh, Lolly, nice, nice. Here, Lolly says a river because the landscape is more varied. Yes, so the beach is basically sand and the ocean, right? We, we, we mm, like, yeah, most beaches look the same, but a river, right? It depends where you are. There could be big trees or no trees, rocks, right? So the landscape is much more different uh, on a river, at the river, than at the beach, for sure. I agree. Nice point there, Lolly. Rita says, a river because you can use water for planting food. That's right, because the river has fresh water. That's right, Rita. Good point. Where the ocean, the beach, is salt water, and you can't use salt water, right? But the river has fresh water. Very good. Ava, in Czech Republic, is more crowded because more people like to... God, Okay, I don't know, like to, Ava, I don't know that, C-A-J-A-K. Yeah, river is more crowded, Ava says. Depends where you are, right? So, so where Lolly is, maybe where Lolly in France, beaches are more crowded than rivers. But then Ava lives in the Czech Republic, and the rivers are more crowded crowded so it depends where you live very interesting Seiru, hello Seiru, hello Mwah. Seiru is in the house hello okay um Seiru likes the beaches better because it has good quality sand and shallow water very good point where, where the beach at the beginning is very shallow but as you go out it's deeper and deeper right so if you can stay in the shallow area or you could go to the deeper area but the, a river is usually boom, you know, right? It's just usually like right in. <laughs> That's a good point there, Sewu. That's okay, you're late. Kajak, I don't know. Kajak. Yeah, Ava, I don't know that word. Okay. Okay, a river or beach, good one. Let's go to another card. Let's go number three. Let's go number three. Okay, which is better? Which is better? This is interesting. Here we go. This will be an interesting one. Which is better? Here we go. Number three. Which is better? A spoon or chopsticks? Which is better? A spoon or chopsticks? Which is better? A spoon or chopsticks? Which is better, a spoon or chopsticks? A spoon or chopsticks? Okay, very interesting, I think. Which is better, which is better, a spoon or chopsticks? A spoon... Canoe. Okay, Radu. Canoe. That's right. A river you can canoe. That's very fun. Or kayak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Canoe. Okay, I understand. Okay, Lolly's on the board. Lolly says, a spoon because I don't know how to use chopsticks. Really, Lolly? You can't, you don't know how to use chopsticks. Oh, I can teach you. It's very, it's very simple. I'll, I'll teach Lolly how to use chopsticks with a pencil. Let me, I need one more pencil. I'm going to get another pencil. Okay. So I'm going to teach Lolly how to use chopsticks using two pencils. Okay, so one chopstick is just going to stay between your thumb and forefinger. Just... And then just hold it like that, okay, Lolly? This one's not going to move. The lower, the lower chopstick is not going to move. Then you put the other one on top like that. You hold that, and you just move this, the top one down, up and down. My hands are frozen, so it's hard for me right now. But this, ugh, 
So this is just going to move like that. That's all you do. That's it. It's easy. Just pick it up. Come. Very, very convenient. Very easy. So you just, just the top one moves. The bottom one doesn't move. Don't, don't move this one and just move the, the top. There you go. That's how we use chopsticks. Just like that. <laughs> you can do it, Lolly. Practice. Just go buy some chopsticks and, and practice. And you will, you will learn very quickly. Okay, good. You, good, try. Try it, you'll like it. <laughs> try it, you'll like it. Okay, Dr. Ramirez says a spoon is better because you can grab everything solid or liquid. Oh, that's a good point. Because chopsticks only for solid things, right? Not liquid, right? You soup you cannot use chopsticks for soup right but a spoon you can use um you can use a spoon with soup yep Fran says for me it's a spoon because i have no appetite to eat with chopsticks <laughs> takes maybe too too long for fran to eat with chopsticks okay i didn't see radu let's see what did radu say I have to go back because I was teaching. Oh, oh, canoe. Okay, okay. Canoe. Okay, let's see. Rita says, for me, a spoon, but in Japan, chopsticks is better for sure. Yeah, in, in Asian countries, like maybe Korea, China, Japan, um, everyone uses chopsticks. Uh, Tomas, I can eat with chopsticks, but it's a bit of a challenge. I have to practice. Yeah, practice. Yeah, do it, do it. And, and actually, um, like for a salad, I think, I think um, chopsticks are better to use for a salad than a fork. So with chopsticks, salad, you just, it, for me, it's easier to eat um, a salad with chopsticks. Now, because I live in Japan, I use chopsticks all the time like I use chopsticks for everything even like well not for steak right for for meat for steak I use a fork and knife but for most things I use chopsticks for most food I use chopsticks okay so monk it's hard so for many people chopsticks are are difficult okay now Seiru lives in Korea and so for so Seiru is going to say, of course, chopsticks. Chopsticks is better because it's easy when eating noodles, right? So noodles, I think chopsticks are very easy to, to eat noodles with. Also, um, like I said, a salad, right? Um, yeah, so it, chopsticks are, once you, under, once you start getting the, the ability, the skill, then maybe you will prefer chopsticks. So, okay, so many people don't use chopsticks. <laughs> that's right, you can't eat soup with chopsticks, Marion, that's for sure, that's for sure. So my challenge to everyone, try, try chopsticks. Try to learn to use chopsticks. You can do it. There you go, Radu. Chopsticks because then I can show off to my non-Asian friends how I'm able to eat with chopsticks. Yeah, even catch a fly with them like Jackie Chan. Poop! <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Good, good, good. All right. Ava, oh, Ava, chopsticks. I don't eat with chopsticks, but my children use it to eat some food. Yeah, okay, so maybe the younger people use chopsticks. So one more time. You can do this, everyone. The, the lower one is at the bottom. It doesn't move. It doesn't move. And then the top one, you just, just up and down like that. You can do it. Yeah. So right here, I have something here. You just pick it up, right? You could just pick it up. So, and you, once you start doing it, I'm going to change. This will be easier. Yeah. So once 
you get it, you can, it's no problem, very easy. You can use them very easily. And, um, it, and for some foods, it's very convenient and easy to, to um, like for salad and noodles, things like that. It, no problem, easy to use. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, yeah, so, so like, okay, for rice, like um, Japanese rice, so Phil says chopsticks are better to eat rice with. So in Japan, we have like a sticky rice. And so it's very easy to use chopsticks with rice because the rice is sticky. But for, um, like, for example, Spanish rice it, it, or like pilaf, right? It's very loose rice. So you can't use chopsticks for that. It's difficult. But for sticky rice, chopsticks are very easy to use. Okay, well, um, I'm looking at the time. So let's go to our next activity, okay? So... Let's review these, shall we? Which is better, bowling or baseball? And you told me your opinion. Great opinions, of course. So I think many people said bowling because um, they can enjoy it with their friends. It's done indoors. Um, it takes less skill, right? So um, most people, I think, in think bowling is better. Then our second one was, which is better, a river or a beach? And I think more people chose a beach because of um, like the sunset and you can relax on the sand. Um, also, you could play sports on the beach, okay? Which is better, a spoon or chopsticks? I think most people said a spoon because um, you can use spoon with both liquid and solid food and may be easier to use. So uh, I think most people said spoon. So good answers, everyone. You're using English very nicely. Yeah, I like seeing your sentences. Okay, let's go to the next activity, Lolly says. Okay, Lolly, before we go to the next activity, I am going to take a picture of this one, okay? And then I will upload it to my Facebook group page. Okay, you can't see me, but you can hear me. I'm going to take a picture. Here we go. Count down. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I got the picture. Okay, let's do our next activity, which is uh, which one doesn't belong? Which one doesn't belong? Okay, let me put these. So we got more and more. We got, I got lots of cards. Which is better? Which is better? So next time we'll do some more, but we are finished today. Okay, so, okay, I'm going to give you which one doesn't belong. Okay, again, my hands are frozen, so it's hard for me to use my hands right now. <laughs> I can't use my hands. Okay, I got it ready. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to use the whiteboard again, so I'm going to take these cards down. Take the cards down. Get a little organized, right? Because it's important to stay organized so everything's not just all over the place. So if I stay organized, that way my next lesson, I'll be able, I'll be able to use the next set of cards so everything is organized. So... Next time it'll be easier for me to make my lesson plan. Okay, I'm going to erase the whiteboard now. God, I'm, it's cold in here, I can't believe it. I think this is probably one of the coldest days ever <laughs> in Japan. This might be the coldest day ever. <laughs> the coldest day in history is today, maybe. <laughs> <coughs> maybe right one day it's you know it's there's always going to be like the coldest day right or the hottest day so maybe today is the coldest day in japan ever maybe it feels like it it feels like it's the coldest day ever okay which one doesn't belong which one doesn't belong? 
right? So one. Which one doesn't belong and why? And you're going to say because. Okay. You know this activity, right? I'm going to tell you four things, <clears throat> and you're going to tell me which one doesn't belong and why. Okay, here we go. Which one doesn't belong and why? Here are the four things. Here we go. A spatula, a paint roller, a ruler, and a paint brush. Okay. A spatula. Ava. <laughs> Ava, 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 you are always a giver, aren't you? You're so kind to me, Ava. Love you. I'm going to send you the cards today for sure, for sure. Let me say the four things one more time, and then I'll write your name on the board for a big, big thank you. And I'll give you a big heart, of course. Okay, here are the four things. A spatula, a paint roller, a ruler, and a brush or a paintbrush, brush, a paintbrush. Let's say paintbrush. On, on, the, on the paper, I said only a brush, but it's a paintbrush, okay? A spatula, a paint roller, a ruler, and a paintbrush. Ava, too kind, always helping me. Ava, love you. Mwah. You will get the cards, today's cards. You will get today's cards. Yes, you will. They're good ones today, Ava. You'll like them. You'll like them. A little long, a little difficult today, but good practice for you. Okay, thank you so much, Ava. So, Phil, I'm not sure what it is right now, but it was um, when I came here, it was minus two Celsius. It was minus two Celsius. Minus two. Okay. Okay. Sewu wants to see the picture. Okay. No problem, Sewu. Let me say that one more time. Okay. And then I will show you the, the pictures. Okay. A spatula. A paint roller. A ruler and a brush, like a paintbrush. Okay, I'll show you the pictures. Okay, Helga, a ruler because you can't paint with it or fix something. Very good. Okay, Tomas says, a spatula because we can't paint with it. Good, 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 good. But a, a ruler you can't paint with a ruler either. Okay. Here we go. This is for Sewu. I'll show you the pictures. Now, we did these last week. Um, or we did these like on Tuesday, maybe. So I'm not going to show you the bottom ones, but here we go. These are, so we have a spatula. Okay, Sewu. Spatula, a paint roller, a ruler, and a brush. This is kind of like a, like a paintbrush, yeah? A spatula, a paint roller, a ruler, and a brush. Let's say a paintbrush. Okay? Got it, Sewu? Okay, Tama okay Tomas, I saw. Vilmar says, a ruler is for school. But we use a paintbrush for school, Vilmar. We use a, a, a paintbrush for school, too. Umesh, a paint, a paint roller, because it is not used by students. Spatula, maybe, maybe, yeah, okay, okay, Umesh. Lolly says, a spatula, because it's a cooking utensil, and it's not used for painting, good. Radu, a spatula, because it is the only one among, among all of them which is used with food, yes. Okay, say well, good, you got it. Ava. <laughs> okay, good. Tomas, a spatula because we use it 
for cooking. Yep. Yeah, we don't use a paint roller for cooking. No, don't do that. We don't use a ruler for paint for cooking. No, don't do that. We don't use a paintbrush for cooking. No, don't do that. Okay, Ava says, especially because it's used in the kitchen. Yes, it's used in the kitchen. Good. Dang says, a brush because we can paint at the corner of the walls. That's right, especially you can't paint the corner of the wall. Paint roller, you can't get the corner of the wall. And a ruler, you can't get the corner of, of the wall. But with the paintbrush, you can. That's right. Dr. Maris, especially because it is not, Dr. Maris says, especially because it is not used for painting. Good. Devender, a ruler because we can't color with it. That's right. Well, spatula, we can't really color with it either. Rita, paint roller because it is for walls. Okay, yeah, yeah. Spatula is not for walls. A ruler is not for walls. And a, a paintbrush is not for walls, right? The small one. This is, this is a small one. So it's for maybe paper or canvas, but not for walls. But a paint roller is for walls. That's right. Okay, Lolly, a ruler, it's for measuring. That's right. A spatula is not for measuring. A paint roller is not for measuring. And a brush is not for measuring. No one has my answer. I don't see my answer. Okay, I'm going to tell you my answer. And we'll go. We'll do one more after this. So my answer is um, a ruler because my answer is a ruler. <clears throat> a ruler because it does not have a handle. It does not have a handle. <clears throat> okay, so like a spatula has a handle, a, a paint roller has a handle, and a brush has a handle, but not a ruler. There's not a handle on a ruler. No, no. Okay, Hannah says a paint roller because it is not flat. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yes, Hannah. A paint roller is round, spatula is flat, a ruler is flat. And the, and the brush is flat, but the roller is round. Yes, yes, henna, nice one, nice one. Nice one. Okay, Lolly, yes, okay, Lolly says, a ruler because there is no A in it. Spatula has an A, paint roller has an A. What about brush? Brush, no A, Lolly, in brush. It doesn't work, Lolly. We can, let's see, what other, let's see. Mm, we can go, Lolly, we could go brush. There's a B in brush, but spatula, no B. Paint roller, no B. And ruler, no B. But for brush, there's a B. Yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, Phil, so a spatula is also a cooking instrument. It is a cooking. So actually, Phil, a spatula is a cooking utensil. <laughs> no problem, Lolly, no problem. Okay, we di let's do one more. Okay, I'm going to put the date. Today is because we did it today. So today's the 8th here in Japan. Okay, so just so I don't repeat. Okay, let's do number, we'll do one more and then we'll switch activities. Okay, let's do one more too. Okay, which one doesn't belong and why? Okay, here we go. Here are the four things. Here we go, count down. 
Which one doesn't belong and why? Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Here are the four items. A crayon, a book, a globe, and a sign. Okay, one more time. A crayon, a book, a globe, and a sign. Okay, which one doesn't belong? Crayon, a book, a globe, and a sign. A crayon, a book, a globe, a sign. Sign, sign, sign. Which one doesn't belong and why? Oh, Rita. Oh, that's that. Yes, that is a good, that's a good one, Rita. I didn't see it. Rita says, ruler, it has numbers. Yes, it does. Uh, a spatula does not have numbers. A paint roller does not have numbers. And a brush does not have numbers. But a ruler has numbers. Yes, that's the purpose, right? The rulers, we use it to measure. So we need to know how many centimeters or inches, right? Okay, our four things. One more time. Number two is... A crayon, a book, a globe, and a sign. Okay, Ava says a book because it's made from paper. Good one, Ava. Good one. Good one, Ava. Helga says a sign because it may have, it may have no letters on it. You mean it has letters. A sign has letters. So we're talking about like maybe, you know, like a, a, a traffic, uh, a sign with letters. So that's the kind of sign we're talking about, with letters. So it has letters. Okay, Radu. A crayon because you can write or draw with it. Very good. Tomas says, a crayon, because we can draw with it. Henna, a globe. No, 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 no. Globe, not glove, globe. Okay, I'm going to show you the pictures so everyone can see. Okay, I got it. Here we go. This is the, I need mittens. <laughs> I need mittens. Okay. Yeah, Ava, good. Good one, Ava. Okay, here are the four things. We have a crayon, a book, a globe, and a sign. Okay, one more time. A crayon, a book, a globe, and a sign. So which one doesn't belong and why? Yeah, uh, we, it could be a stop sign. It could be any kind of sign, just a sign in, in uh, just generally, in general, a sign. Okay, Dr. Mara says globe because it is used for parties. No, this, this Dr. Mara, this globe is like has the, the, the world, right? So it's a world, it's a globe of the world, like all the countries. Okay, good. So it's a fear. Yes, spherical. Good. So Lolly says a globe because it's spherical. So a sphere is round, like a 3D, right? You can see all around it. Yes, a sphere. Okay, good. Um, Alicia, I don't understand you say Nepali. What do you mean? <laughs> Alicia, I'm not sure. What do you mean? I don't understand. <laughs> okay, Helga, a crayon because we can write with it. Yes, Radu, a crayon because it has a pointy end. Okay, see, these are great answers. All you guys are giving me all kinds of, like, you're, you're looking at these four items in 
in a um, a very like um, imaginary way. You are looking at it in many different ways. So this is great. So so what you, everyone's doing right now with this activity, like okay, yeah, it's a cup, right, or a mug, right? But we're looking at it more closely, right? Like with these things, these items, you're looking at them very closely, right? So we go, oh, this has a, a white stripe, yes. Oh, um, it has letters, white letters, yes. We're looking at it very closely. Oh, there's a there's a center, yes. Oh, we can pour things in it, yes. There's a picture of Mark, yes. <laughs> there's some writing, yes. It's in English, yes. So you guys are looking at these items very closely, very carefully, and at different and in, in, in different ways, which is great, right? So, so what what you're doing is you're using your imagination, you're using your your um, thinking skills, you are using your critical thinking skills, yes. So you're looking at this very critically and. And like a detective, right? You're looking at different parts of it. Like, okay, the crayon has a pointy part, but a book doesn't have, right? So you're, you're, you guys are doing excellent. I love this activity because you have to look at it very closely and in different ways. So great, great. You guys are doing great. Okay, say with globe because we can locate the world. Yes. Oh, Helga says, a globe because we can rotate it. See, there's so many different answers, right? There's not one answer. There's not one right answer. No, 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 no. Many answers, and they're all correct. Life said, cram because you can't read with it, only write. Yeah, see, this is, you, you guys are doing great, fantastic. Good morning, Sherry. KVP says, a cram because... We use it for drawing. Ava, a globe because we hold it with our hand. Lolly, a sign because there is no O in it. <laughs> Crayon has an O. Book has an O. Globe has an O. But a sign does not have an O. Yeah, see? You guys are looking at this very well. I love it. I love it. Oh, okay. Don't hold it with our hands. That's right. Right, do a book because it is the only one that has an author or more authors mentioned. Yes. That's right. A sign, you don't see the author on a sign. A globe, you don't see the author. No. But you open the book and it has the author's name, the person who wrote the book. Right. But Cram, we don't have the person who made it, right? Their name isn't on there. Very good. Nice, nice, nice. Next step. <laughs> okay, let's, let's move. Okay, let's change activities. Okay, okay, Tomas. All right, so my answer is, okay, you guys all had great answers. Mine is um, a sign, okay? Mine's a sign because it's not used in school. Okay, a sign because it's not used in school. Okay, so a sign because it's not used in school. Okay, yes, yes. Uh, Sewu says, cram because you can make all things. Book, sign, globe. Oh, very, see? You guys are so smart. Nice one, right. With the crayon, you can make a book. With the crayon, you can make a globe. Or you could write, right? So use a, use a crayon and you can write a book. Uh, with the crayon, you can, you can write a globe or draw a globe. And with the crayon, you can um, draw a sign. Yeah, nice one. I like that. That's a great answer, Sewu. That's very imaginative, right? And you're using your imagination um, very well. I like it. I like it. Yes, everyone. Good job, everyone. Good, good. See, 
what's happening, we, we do this often, right? And so you're getting better and better at this activity, which is going to help your, your English skills, right? The way you think about things. And actually, it's going to help your everything, your life, right? You're going to look at things more critically. You're going to look at things in different ways. So this is actually helping you with your life <laughs> more than English, right? Um, because I remember when we, first start, when we first started doing this activity, it was like very difficult for, for you to do it, right? It's like, ah, what's the difference? I don't know. I don't know. But now we've been doing this for a while now, right? We've been doing this for you know, a long time. And so now you are getting better at looking at things in different ways and in, in different in different angles and and differently right you're looking at things differently now and you can see um, many differences you can see similarities right you can compare and you can contrast right compare see how they're similar contrast see how they're different so well done well done i like it i like it yes this is not only English practice, this is critical thinking practice. Yes, we are using our minds. We are thinking about things in different ways, right? And that's what's great about um, learning a foreign language, right? So English is not your first language, right? Maybe, you know, you're from France, like Lolly, so your first language is French. Maybe you're from the Czech Republic, like Ava, and your, and your language is Czech, right? So wherever, or you're Brazilian, so your language is Portuguese. So wherever you are, you are using English as a second language, as a foreign language. And so um, you have to, by using English, you're using a different part of your brain. And you're thinking about, you, you know, when you're, when you're using English, listening to English and speaking English, you're using a different part of your brain. And... Um, and so you have to think about the world differently. So, so it's great. It's great. It's great. Okay, let's get going now. Okay, sorry for talking so long. Okay, let's do our dictation practice. Yeah, okay. So I have cards right here. I have cards right here. And of course, how many cards do I have? How many cards? You know how many cards. We always have the same amount of cards. Yes, we do. How many? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight cards today. Yes, we do as usual. Okay, I'm going to erase the board. Oh, I'm going to take a picture. Yeah, always take a picture because you can um, look back, have a look again. Just go to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. Let me step over here. You can't see me, but you can hear me. And I will take a picture. Here we go. Countdown. Four, three, two, one. Okay, got the picture. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I just hit my foot. Yes, eight cards, Ava. That's right. It's challenging time. It's challenge time. It's time to challenge ourselves. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good, good. All right. So we are doing dictation practice, and today's topic is difference. 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 So, for example, um, what is the difference between? What is the difference between? So, how are these two different? All right. Are they, are they similar? Is there a small difference? Is there a big difference? Is there a huge difference? Okay. So, how, we, um, how are they different from each other? How are they different? Okay, how are they different? What's the difference between? Mm 
Okay, what's the difference between blah, blah, blah and blah, blah, blah? Okay, and um, we could say, uh, okay, what's the difference between blah, blah, blah? And we could say, oh, there's, um, yeah, there, there is, uh, and then maybe a slight difference, small, a, a big difference, or we could say like huge difference. There is a slight difference between, whoops, forgot the T. Okay, so this is what we're going to practice today, and we'll, we'll, we'll um, I think this is a good topic. It's kind of like what we've been doing, right? So it kind of follows wh what's the difference between, right? Or what doesn't belong, what doesn't belong, and why, okay? So in a w it, this is kind of in the same, same manner, in the same vein. Um, how are they different, right? So um, we talked, okay, why, okay, which one doesn't belong and why? And then you, you told me why, right? So you said, oh, a crayon because we can um, draw with it, write with it, right? So what's the difference? How are they different, okay? Um, what's the difference between? Um, there is a slight difference between? Oh, a, there is a slight difference, a small difference, a big difference. A huge difference. So I, I didn't write difference. So. Okay. So sorry. So it goes right here. There is a slight difference between blah blah and blah blah. There is a small difference between blah blah and blah blah. There is a big difference between blah blah and blah blah. There is a huge difference between blah, blah, and blah, blah, okay? So that's what we're doing today, okay? So you need a pencil, you need paper, because you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word, and we will do four steps, and we'll do a follow-up, because I want you to tell me what are the differences, okay? But before we do that, we'll do our four steps then we will talk about the cards. All right, so step one, dictation. You're going to listen and write what I say. Then we're gonna shadow. That is speaking practice. Then on your own, we will take turns. And then we'll do a quiz. Then we will follow up follow up with a discussion. All right, so this is going to be good, people. This is going to be good. Yes. Are you ready? This is gonna be a good activity. We're gonna do dictation, shadowing, on your own quiz, and then follow up with a discussion. This is gonna be fun. I, I know it's gonna be fun. I have a good feeling it's gonna be fun. Okay, here we go, you're waiting. Okay, stop shuffling, and we are ready. Let me take one more sip from my coffee. Mm-hmm. Here we go, card number one, dictation time, pencil and paper, ready, yes? Okay, here we go, countdown. Lolly says ready, okay, good. Five, four, three, two, one, here we go, number one. There is a small difference between a frog and a gecko. Good lion. See, you, you understand what we're doing. Okay, second time. 
there is a small difference between a frog and a gecko. There is a small difference between a frog and a gecko. <laughs> Phil. <laughs> okay, card number two. Card number two. What is the difference between coffee and water? What is the difference between coffee and water? What is the difference between coffee and water? Card number three, number three. There is a slight difference between a cupcake and a cake. Oh really the the volume is low? Let let me let me check the volume, okay? Uh okay. There is a slight difference between a cupcake and a cake. Three. There is a slight difference between a cupcake and a cake. Let me see if I can um do the volume here. Let me check, check. I need to hold on, hold on, Vilmar. I'll go to settings here. Maybe I can, um, okay, let's see, audio. I don't have a volume. Let's see. I don't see volume on this let's see audio audio but no volume sorry sorry let me just on my software there's no volume Hold on, let me see another. Okay, I don't see. Oh, okay, here. Oh, let's see, let's see. Okay, how's. Okay, I see volume now. How is that? Is that better? I'm like full volume right now. How's that? Is that Vilmar? Is that better? Vilmar, is that better? I turned up the volume full up up to the max. It's up to the max now. Okay. Card number card number four. Okay, good. Okay. Card number four. Card number four. There is a big difference between golf and tennis. Okay, that's good. I turned it up all the way. Okay, no problem. No, no, Vilmar, don't be, I'm happy because if there's a, a technical um, problem or, so it's very important, right? That if you can hear me, right? So, so Vilmar, don't, please don't hesitate to tell me something if something is wrong okay so thank you for that and um don't don't hesitate okay number two or second time 
There is a big difference between golf and tennis. There is a big difference between golf and tennis. Yeah, we never, yeah, Vilmar, there could be many reasons why maybe the vo you can't hear very well. So there there's, could be many um, reasons why. But I, I turned up all, you know, I turned up the volume all the way on my end, on my, on the software. Okay, five, five. There is a huge difference between Halloween and Christmas. There is a huge difference between Halloween and Christmas. There is a huge difference between Halloween and Christmas. Okay, number six, number six. What is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? What is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? Third time. What is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? Okay, number seven, number seven. What is the difference between oatmeal and soup? What is the difference between oatmeal and soup? What is the difference between oatmeal and soup? Okay, good, Vilmar. I'm happy that it's okay for you now. Okay, number eight. Last card, last card. Number eight. What is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? What is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? What is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? Okay, that was the dictation. Yep, we did it. I'm going to check it off because it is finished. Okay, now step two is shadowing. So not writing, but speaking. So it's the same thing. You're listening, but instead of writing, you are speaking. All right? So we are saying these sentences together at the same time. It's a challenge, but that's why you are here. Okay, here we go. Countdown to shadowing. Five, four, three, two, one. There is a small difference between a frog and a gecko. There is a small difference between a frog and a gecko. There is a small difference between a frog and a gecko. Two. What is the difference between coffee and water? What is the difference between coffee and water? What is the difference between coffee and water? Three, there is a slight difference between a cupcake and a cake. There is a slight difference between a cupcake and a cake. There is a slight difference between a cupcake and a cake. Four, there is a big difference between golf and tennis. There is a big difference between golf and tennis. There is a big difference 
between golf and tennis. Number five. There is a huge difference between Halloween and Christmas. There is a huge difference between Halloween and Christmas. There is a huge difference between Halloween and Christmas. Number six. What is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? What is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? What is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? Number seven. What is the difference between oatmeal and soup? What is the difference between oatmeal and soup? What is the difference between oatmeal and soup? Number eight, last card. What is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? What is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? What is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. Oh, Tomas. Okay, Tomas knows the answers. <laughs> okay, we did shadowing. Let's mark that off. It's done and dusted. Yes, we did it. All right, now on your own, that is we are going to take turns, not at the same time, right? Dictation, you are listening and writing at the same time. Shadowing, you are listening and speaking at the same time. But now we will take turns. I will say it, then you will say it. I will say it, then you will say it. But when you say it, you will not see the, the um, sentence. All right, so you would just see only the picture. So you have to say the sentence only by looking at the picture, okay? So let's do it, shall we? I have a card right here. I'm going to cover. Oh, okay, when I say it, we will see the sentence. When you say it, we will not see the sentence. Okay, here we go. On your own. There is a small difference between a frog and a gecko. Now it's your turn. There is a small difference between a frog and a gecko. There is a small difference between a frog and a gecko. There is a small difference between a frog and a gecko. What is the difference between coffee and water? 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 There is a slight difference between a cupcake and cake. There is a slight difference between a cupcake and a cake. <laughs> Good, Ava. There is a slight difference between a cupcake and a cake. There is a slight difference between a cupcake and a cake. There is a slight difference between a cupcake and a cake.
there is a big difference between golf and tennis. Hey, Seuss, hello. There is a big difference between golf and tennis. There is a big difference between golf and tennis. <laughs> Phil. <laughs> there is a big difference between golf and tennis. There is a big difference between golf and tennis. There is a huge difference between Halloween and Christmas. There is a huge difference between Halloween and Christmas. There is a huge difference between Halloween and Christmas. There is a huge difference between Halloween and Christmas. There is a huge difference between Halloween and Christmas. What is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? What is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? <laughs> Ava, <laughs> what is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? What is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? What is the difference between oatmeal and soup? 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 <laughs> what is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? What is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? What is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? What is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? Okay, yay, how'd you do, yeah? Did you get the sentences correctly? Yeah, okay. <laughs> On your own, you, we did it, we did it, you did it, you did it, yes, you did. All right, it's a quiz, it's quiz time. It's time for a quiz, time for a quiz. I'm going to choose three cards and you're gonna write the sentence in the chat, all right? Please write the sentence in the chat for me thank you okay here we go three cards what is the sentence write the sentence please here we go there you go it's a long one these are long sentences 
I'm going to have some water now. Okay, Lolly, what? What is the sentence? Please write the sentence in the chat. Quiz cards. <laughs> These are the quiz cards. All right. Okay, Radu. What is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? Nice, Radu. Gaga, what is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? No, this one. <laughs> Gaga, this one right here. Marion, what is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? Good. Lion, what is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? Okay, Lolly, what's the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? Devender, what is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? Tomas, what is the difference between a dumbbell and a barbell? Sebu, what is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? Very good. Alice, what is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? Dr. Maris, what is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? Devender, Barbell is for cheat. X dumbbell is for him. chest. Oh, okay. Devender, chest. Yeah, good. And then dumbbell. Yeah, yeah. Good, Devender. Good. Yeah, you guys got. Okay, Vilmar. What is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? Very good. Ava, what is the what is the difference between a dumbbell and a bar dumb barbell? What is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? Very good. Okay, card number two. Here we go. Card number two, quiz two. All right, here we go. Quiz two. Quiz two. Number two. Number two. Two. Two, 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 two. two. Yes. What is the sentence? What is the sentence here? What is the sentence? Please. Oh, Radu, what is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? Okay, Neva, what is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? Okay, Hamid, what's the difference between floss and a toothbrush? Helga, what is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? Good, Lion, what is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? Good, Marion, what is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? Lolly, what is the difference between Floss and a toothbrush. Okay, Isa. Uh, what 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 is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? Ava, what is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? Very good, Ava. Sebu, what is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? Devender, what is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? Floss, no a. Uh. We don't say a uh, floss. No, 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 no. We say only floss. Dr. Maris, what is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? Tomas, what is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? Perfect. Vera, what is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? Yep, so I will explain to you. Yes, I will. Devender. Okay. Yeah, good, good. Okay, what is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? Okay, Devender, floss is a string and you, you put that string between your teeth. You put the string between your teeth to get any food out. So if you have food stuck between your teeth, 
right? Use floss to get it out. Okay. Quiz number three. Card number three. Here we go. Here we go. Card three. Oh, Vilmar, the other day I used a kind of barbell, about 87 kilos. I pulled up my... Wow. Vilmar strong. 87 kilos. Wow. Wow, that's heavier than me. Wow. Vilmar, you got big muscles. <laughs> Vilmar has big muscles. Okay, what is the sentence? Yeah, Ava, so so those are, okay, so we use a and the to indicate it's a noun. I'll, I'll explain to you in a minute, okay, Ava? But good, good, it's difficult for many people. Okay, what is the sentence? And then I will explain articles for Ava. So what is it? So, okay, Ava, so basically when we use a, that means it's one and, um, well, no, it, it's general, general, any one, and it, to show it's a noun. So we use a and then with the noun. And if it's a um, proper noun, we don't use a or the. The is, is there's only one and it's particular. Only one, and it's particular. We use a for if it's not particular, so any one. So we use a, and that is to show it's a noun. So before a noun, a normal noun, we use a or the. Okay. Uh, okay, what is the difference between Halloween and Christmas? Good, Tomas. Dr. Maris, there... Okay, there is a huge difference between Halloween and Christmas. Good, yes, perfect, Dr. Maris, perfect. Sewu, there is a huge difference between Halloween and Christmas. Good. Devender, there is a huge difference between Halloween and Christmas. Yes, Phil, what's the difference between... No, 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 there is a huge... Okay, Alice, good. Hey, Black Wolf, how you doing, Black Wolf? Ava, there is a huge difference between... Halloween and Christmas. Good. Thank you, Radu. Yeah. So indefinite means any, any, not nothing special. The is like specific, right? We particular, something in particular. Okay. Yes, I like Halloween, Phil. I like Halloween. It's fun. It's fun. Okay, here, and the sentence is, there is a huge difference between Halloween and Christmas. Yes, yes, yes. Very, very good. Yep, yep. We did the quiz. Nice, nice, nice. Now, let's do some follow-up. Quiz. Good, 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 good. Okay, now, follow-up. Let's follow up with discussion, with a discussion. Okay, so there are four cards that have what is the difference between. So I want you to tell me what the difference is. So we have four cards with what questions. And I'm going to ask you, and you're going to tell me the difference. What is the difference? What is the difference? What is it? Okay, number one. What is the difference between oatmeal and soup? So in the chat, please tell me the difference between oatmeal and soup. What is the difference between oatmeal and soup? Please tell me. Oh, Norman's here. Hey, Norman, how you doing? I didn't see you. Okay, now I see Norman. How are you doing, Norman? So Norman, in the chat, please tell me, what is the difference between oatmeal and soup? How are they different? 
How is oatmeal and soup different? Oh, good, Lolly. That's a good one. Lolly says, oatmeal is for breakfast. Very good. That's what I had today. I had oatmeal for breakfast today. I always have oatmeal for breakfast. Okay, Kenneth, you're very welcome. See you next week, Kenneth. See you next week. Okay, Ava says, oatmeal is very easy to prepare. Yes. Okay, Lolly says, soup is for dinner. Yes, good, good, good. Soup is for sick people. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what, like when we have a cold or a flu, we, we have soup. That's right. Soup is delicious, Norman says. Oatmeal, what a, oatmeal is delicious too. Okay, Tomas, what is the difference? What is the difference, Tomas? Wait, Black Wolf, soup is for breakfast. No, oatmeal is for breakfast. Oh, Dr. Maris, soup is salty and oatmeal is sweet. Oh, very good. Okay, Dr. Maris, oatmeal, or no, soup is because it's singular. Soup is salty and oatmeal is sweet. Lion, oatmeal is for breakfast and soup is for dinner or lunch. Good, Lion. So oatmeal is for breakfast and soup is for dinner or lunch. Good one. Soup is very hot for dinner. Good. I need Anita said that. Oh, Norman says, oatmeal is very healthy. Yes, it is. Soup is liquid. Good, Rita. Lolly, I never eat oatmeal. No, Lolly, you should eat oatmeal. Don't say, don't say never. No, never say never. Lolly, never say never. Denverter, oatmeal is dry food. Yeah, so it's dry. That's right. It's dry until we put water in it, right? Good, good, good. And then soup is a liquid food. Yeah. Good one. Helga says, oatmeal is a porridge and soup is a soup. Say <laughs> uh, oatmeal is, is the main ingredient. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have to go back. This is going fast. Okay, Say says, Oatmeal is the main ingredient, only oatmeal, but soup has a lot of ingredients. Good one, Sewu. You're doing really good today, Sewu. Many good answers today. <coughs> Dr. Mer, soup is salty. Oatmeal is sweet. Sweetie. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, one more time, Dr. Mer. Soup is salty. Oatmeal is sweet. Marion says, the soup is liquid and the oatmeal is solid. Yes. Gaga oatmeal is porridge. Good. Radu's soup can contain various ingredients while oatmeal cannot. Ava, soup is warm. Vera, difference between oatmeal and soup is soup has a lot of ingredients. Good. Lolly. I don't eat in the morning. No, Lolly, don't say that. Don't say don't. Don't say don't. You should eat in the morning. You should, you know, right? You're a nurse. You know that, Lolly. You know you should have breakfast every day. You know that. Um, well, Dang says, I've never eaten oatmeal yet, so I don't know the difference between them. Oh, come on. You can do it. Try it. Try it. Ah, read a nice one. Soup is made with vegetables. That's right. We don't, soup is not made with fruit, right? We don't have banana soup. No, 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 no. We don't have, we don't have um, apple soup. No, no apple soup. We don't have orange soup. No, not orange soup. No, no, no. Yes, Dr. Maris, oatmeal is sweet. Very good. All right. Nice, nice answers, everyone.
Okay, Devender? Ingredient. 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 Good one, Devender. Thank you for asking. Ingredient. Ingredient. And then ingredients, right? So ingredient is one. And then ingredients is um, more than one. Ingredients. 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 Okay, good, good. Soup is for kids, Phil says. <laughs> no, no, soup is for everybody. Okay, here we go. Number two. Number two. What is the difference between coffee and water? What is the difference between coffee and water? Oh, Radu, here we go. This is from yes or from Wednesday, huh? Radu says bananas in the soup equals pineapple on pizza. I knew you're no oh, pineapple pizza's good. <laughs> Radu, come on, Radu, come on, come on, come on. You should try pineapple pizza. Try it, try it. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Okay. What is the difference between coffee and water? Oh, Lolly says, water is not energetic. That's right. You don't get energy from water. Well, you don't get, it doesn't have stimulants, right? So water, or no, coffee has caffeine, which is a stimulant, which gives you some energy, stimulates you. It stimulates Oh, Rita, Rita says, coffee is black, good. Water is clear, that's right. Ava, coffee is tasty and water is healthy. Oh, that was, Ava, perfect. I like it, I like it, I like it. I think so too. I have both right here, coffee and water, yes. So I'm gonna, coffee is Ah, coffee is tasty. Now for water. Ah, whoa, water is healthy. So I have tasty and healthy, tasty and healthy. <laughs> I have both. Yeah, Asia. Coffee is black, water is white. Yes. Well, actually clear, because you can, you can see through, right? So um, coffee, or no, 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 water is clear. So I can see the bottom of the cup, right? Because the water is clear, I can see the bottom where I have coffee, and I can't see the bottom because it's black. I can't see the bottom. Good, good, good. It's perfect, huh, Ava? Coffee and water is perfect. Okay. Warm coffee is better than warm water. Gaga! <laughs> yeah. You guys, I love your answers. You guys have great, great answers. I like that, Gaga. Warm coffee is better than warm water. That's right. How about hot coffee is better than hot water? For sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Radu, coffee can make your heart be faster while water cannot. That's right, because it has the stimulant. It has caffeine. Coffee is good against cancer. Yes, no cancer for me. I drink lots of coffee. No cancer for me. Lolly says, I prefer coffee to water. Me too, me too. But I like both. I like both, but if I prefer coffee to water. Me too. Yes, Lolly says there are a lot of um, antioxidants in coffee. Yeah, coffee is very healthy. It's healthy. It's good for you. Oh, Gaga has another good answer here. Gaga says, coffee gives me energy, water not necessarily. Good. Ava says, coffee is tasty with cake. Yes, it is. Coffee is tasty with many things. 
Okay, good, everyone. I like it. Okay, let's do our next one. What is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? Good friend. What is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? What what is the difference between a barbell and a dumbbell? Oh, Helga. Coffee gives energy and water refreshes. Water is multi-purposeful. Yeah, we use water for many things. Yes, Helga. Oh, Walla, I like it. Walla has. Walla said, coffee is a choice while water is a must. Wow, wow, wow. Nice. That is, that's beautiful. That is poetry. <laughs> Walla says, coffee is a choice, right? I can, you can choose coffee or tea, right? Coffee or whatever. It's a choice, but water is a must. We, we must drink water. Water, we, ha we our body needs water for sure. No water, no life. Okay. Tomas, a barbell is bigger than a dumbbell. That's right. Lolly says, a barbell is bigger than a dumbbell. We use it for the chest, yes. Barbell we use for our chest. It feels good, right? feels good. Oh, feels good. Okay. Tomas says, you push the barbell with two hands. Yeah, so a barbell used two hands with the barbell. Two hands. That's right. And the dumbbell, one hand. So a barbell used two hands and a, a dumbbell used one hand. Good, Tomas. Thank you. There are, oh, they are for different exercises, each one. Good, Beltran. That's right. So a barbell has different exercises and a dumbbell has different, right? They have different exercises. Good. Devender. We, must, we do chest exercise with a barbell and for shoulder and arm exercise with a dumbbell. Good. While a dumbbell is smaller, wait, wait I missed, okay, well, a, Dumbbell is smaller and lighter, usually for beginners. Well, well, I think different exercise. So beginner, they use both, but I, different exercises, right? Right, do. You cannot raise a barbell with only one hand. That's right. Whereas you raise, you can raise a dumbbell with one hand. That's right. So a, a, a barbell is used for two, two hands. And uh, dumbbells used for one. Okay, a barbell is too heavy. <laughs> a barbell is heavy and a dumbbell is lighter. Well, I don't know. I don't think so. Because you could have a barbell or you could have a dumbbell, like a heavy dumbbell, and you could have a light barbell. So it's not weight. It's the type of exercise. Phil says, they hid your, Phil, they hid it because you said, so sometimes YouTube hides the comments, right? Because maybe it's bad words or something, but here, Phil says, barbells are for men and not ladies. But see, no, 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 no. Ladies use, use barbells too, Phil. Ladies also use barbells because they want their chest to be strong. Marianne, the, bar, the, dumb, the dumbbell grabbed with one hand and a barbell grabbed with both hands. Yes. Good, good, good. Yep, so I think that's the biggest answer. Everyone says a barbell two, two hands, 
and a dumbbell one hand. Very good. Okay, let's do one more. Oh, I didn't see Marion. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So I, right, Tomas, I just read Marion's. So the dumbbell is grabbed with one hand and a barbell is grabbed with both hands. That's right. Okay. Oh, Demeter, nice. We need support for a barbell exercise, but for a dumbbell, do it ourselves. Yeah, so if you have a heavy barbell, you need, you need, ha you need support with someone else. Good, good. Say, well, I can, I can carry the dumbbell, but can't carry the barbell when I go outside. That's right, so good, say, well. so many people, um, many people like walk with little um, dumbbells, right? So, so if you want to, you know, if you're walking for exercise and you grab a small barbell or dumbbell, you can, you can, um, you could use your arm exercise and walk at the same time. So yes, say very good. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, Devender, it really depends on, um, you know, at the gym, you could see big, big dumbbells, right? Like heavy dumbbells. So it, it depends on your exercise, the purpose, right? Depends on the purpose. Okay, here we go. Last card. What is the difference between? What is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? What is the difference between floss and a toothbrush? Vilmar says, strong bodybuilders use dumbbells so heavy that a common person may maybe would need to use both hands. For sure. Yeah, Vilmar. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen some strong people use big dumbbells <laughs> for sure. Okay, here we go. Lolly says, with floss, we don't use toothpaste. Yes, that is True, and that is a good answer, Lolly. Yeah, Devender, we exercise is for good health. That's right. Everyone should exercise. Okay, dumbbell for simple exercises, yeah. But I have a book on um, exercise with dumbbells. Like, there are many, many exercises you can do with it. Dumbbells are a great um, exercise equipment because it's small and you, there are many kinds of exercises you can do with a dumbbell. You know, you, you could use your, like this, you go like this. You, so you do position your hand like this, position your hand like this, You're using different muscles. And like this, you're using different muscles just by changing hand position you're using different muscles oh voila they complement each other or complete each other complete each other good yep so floss and brush you should do both for sure voila for sure oh radu it takes longer a longer time to brush your teeth with a toothbrush than to floss your teeth. Yes, right, you just go and then you brush. That's right. Radu, floss is cheaper than a toothbrush. Yeah, okay, good one. Helga, floss is only string and a toothbrush has many bristles. Yes, Helga. Lolly says we use floss first and then, and then the toothbrush. Yes, Alice, toothbrush is every day but floss isn't um every day well you should use well actually have yeah you should you know but a lot of times we don't but you should every day i don't every day i sometimes i forget but i try you know every day is good for your teeth for sure if floss and and for your gums so tooth like Flossing is really good for your gums, right? The, the, your, your meat, your gums, right? The, the pink part. And 
because it's like fleshy, right? And so, so the, the floss is good for your gums. And a toothbrush is good for your teeth. Yeah, so Fran says, floss passes between the teeth and toothbrush, it, it's hard for the toothbrush to pass between your teeth. Yes, good. Ah, Sebu. Floss, you can get rid of fine things impossible with a toothbrush. Yes, so a floss can get food that... A toothbrush cannot, right? So floss can get food where a toothbrush cannot. Very good. Dr. M Ramirez, uh, with, a, with a, a toothbrush, you can clean up your tongue. Yes. <laughs> good, good one. So floss, not really for your tongue, right? No. But um, the, the toothbrush, uh, right? You should always brush your tongue, right? Brush your teeth and then last your tongue. Yes. Lolly says, it's easier to use floss than toothbrush when you're at work. Yeah. That's right. No one's looking, right? Good one. Good one. Christina. Floss is or between the teeth and toothbrush with Toothpaste on your teeth twice a day. Yes, Christina. Black Wolf, um, by toothbrush we can clean our teeth and by floss we can clean food. Um, okay, let Black Wolf, let me... Okay, by toothbrush we can clean our teeth and by floss we can... We can clean in between our teeth, in between, in between, in between our teeth. Radu, a toothbrush can last you for a longer than a pick. Or yes, Radu, good one. So a floss is single use, right? So we, we, we take the floss, right? We take the floss and then cut it, and then we have a piece of floss, right? We use it and then throw it away, single use. Toothbrush, we, we brush our teeth and then clean it and put it away, and we use it again, right? We use it again, we use it again, we use it again. We use it many times. Where floss, we use it one time and then throw it away. So good one, good one. Okay, Marion fixed um, the dumbbell grabbed with one hand and the barbell with both hands. Okay, so the, okay, Marion, um, a, a dumbbell is grabbed with one hand. A dumbbell is grabbed with one hand and a barbell is grabbed with both hands. Okay, Marion, a dumbbell is grabbed with one hand and a barbell is grabbed with both hands. Ava, floss, I have it in my handbag. That's right. So we carry floss with us. I do too. So in my, in my briefcase, in my bag, I, ha I carry floss, right? Because if you go out to lunch and you have something stuck, right? You just use your floss real quick and it's gone. Yes. So we carry floss, but maybe we don't carry a toothbrush. Very good, very good. I like it. Ava, nice one. Yes, Sebu. Floss, we don't need toothpaste. Very good. Phil says, toothbrush is more necessary than floss. Yes, I agree. We need both. You should have both, right? But a toothbrush is more important than floss, for sure. But you should do both. Radu says, you're considered cool if you floss beside brushing your teeth. You are not considered cool if you only brush your teeth without flossing. Yes, because maybe um, there will be food in your teeth 
and people go, hey, look at your, you know, look at your teeth, right? So that's not cool, right? It's not cool to have food in your teeth. No, not at all. You, it's cool to have clean white teeth. Okay, yes, okay. Phil says, floss smells bad sometimes, toothbrush. Yeah, because you're getting that food. Maybe you had food stuck in between. Phil, so maybe before you had food stuck in your teeth, right? Maybe for a couple days if you don't floss every day. And then when you do floss and it comes out, it stinks. That food smells bad. Okay, yeah, okay, Dr. Maris, I have to go too. Yeah, we're over time. Okay, Dr. Maris, love you. Thank you. Okay, I think we are done now. I have to go. Um, we didn't, Lolly, we didn't do Lolly's Revenge. I'm sorry. We ran out of time because we're talking about this, okay? So I have Lolly's Revenge right here. We will do that on Tuesday. Next week, Tuesday, we will do Lolly's Revenge. Sorry about not having time, okay? Um, Ava, as always, thank you so much for your kind, kind support. I'm going to send you these cards, okay, for your kind support, Ava. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, all right, everyone. Today's Friday. Have a great weekend, all right? Be safe. Floss your teeth, yeah? Floss your teeth. Don't forget, do it every day, especially at night. Floss before you go to bed. Yeah, floss before you go to bed. Um, and eat oatmeal. Come on, everyone, eat oatmeal. Try it, try it. It's very healthy and very easy to prepare, and it's good for you. So please do it. Do it, do it, do it. Okay. Um, thanks, everyone. Like I said, have a great weekend. Stay safe. Smile. Floss your teeth. Eat oatmeal. <laughs> have a good weekend. And Green Team, thank you so much. Mwah. Ava, thank you so much. Mwah. And everyone else, say woo. Say woo. Thank you for the coffee. Cheers. Say woo. Thank you. You're kind. Say woo. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love your support. Mwah. Ava, love your support. Mwah. Thank you, thank you. Um, Ava, or Sewu, let's have coffee sometime. Yeah, next time I'm in Korea, let's have a cup of coffee together, you and me. Yeah. <laughs> I, we're going to do it. It will happen. It's going to happen. With, right now with Corona, it's, it can't happen. But it will happen, Sewu. I'm close to you. I'm in Japan. You're in Korea. It's going to happen. <laughs> okay. Yes, Marion, thank you. Everyone, have a, a nice weekend. Let's count down. Yes, happy weekend, everyone. Let's count down to say goodbye. Okay, let's count down together. Here we go, everyone. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thanks so much. Take it easy. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>